Hello. Um, good afternoon. This my name is Leila Cardozo. I am a fitness coach and fitness owner of Faithful Fit. Um, I want to show you a quick way of getting yourself in shape. All right, lose, burn some calories, get some um, good workout with kettlebell. All right, today I want to focus on kettlebell swing. I see a lot of people using kettlebell swing, but not really. Um, using the appropriate form to get the full um, uh, benefit of that workout, all right? So just watch. So with the kettlebell swing, all right? So when we're thinking about kettlebell swing, we're thinking about a hinge movement. You, if you're standing up above your kettlebell, you take uh, at least two steps back, and then there's a triangle between you and that kettlebell. You don't have to open your leg too wide. You don't have to open your leg too, keep your legs too close, all right? So, and then what we're gonna do next, um, you know, people normally wanna go down this way to pick up their kettlebell, but you wanna set up before you even start. You wanna set up from the start, make sure you have the right form. So um, if you have difficulty um, knowing like how to move your hips backwards, we're gonna hinge, all right? We're not gonna squat and we're not deadlifting, we're gonna hinge, all right? So, and in that hinging position, normally if you're doing a deadlift, it's the same place where you start from your hips, all right? So if you have difficulties, put it, your hand right here on your hips, push it back, if you notice, it causes my back is straight. I'm in an angle, you see my feet in the 90 degree angle, and I'm gonna reach for that kettlebell, all right? When I reach for that kettlebell, I bend that kettlebell towards myself, all right? Your initial swing should be going straight from the floor to under your crotch, right away, okay? And once it's there, you're not gonna pull with your hand, okay? So the mistake I see people, once they, 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 there's two mistakes I see is the initial of your kettlebell. The, the kettlebell goes right below your knee and then you're trying to bring it up and you use your hand to bring it up. And then if you notice, there's some back movement there, all right? And what I'm doing is forcing that kettlebell to move up with my hand. With the swing, it's a hip movement. So once I'm here, practice, okay? You can practice with your hand, keep your kettlebell there, swing. And once it's there, you force it up, all right? Another thing that you wanna do, when you swing, people like to, uh, I see people wanna swing with, the, with their knee, so it's like going here, right? So with a kettlebell, you wanna swing, right? It's like you humping that kettlebell, but to push to a straight, stand position all right and then once you're in that straight stand position you have your core tucked in you're not like this all right so watch this give it to me like <laughs> bring that kettlebell down like this. You see that back, okay? It takes sometimes one movement to hurt yourself. One mistake to get that pain and that injury and not work out for a week or longer term. Most of the time, when you make a mistake or you work out, it takes repetitive doing the same mistake over and over again. With the period of time, you will end up really hurt, all right? This is a great workout. You can use it. Uh, for, 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 for your warm up, you can use it for your workout. All right, you don't even have to do a lot. And then, thank you for listening. This is Layla, Faithful Fit.